All right, so please come to a comfortable seated position and just close our eyes for a moment. One of the things that we're gonna be working on today is opening up the sides of our body, doing some lateral poses. And one of the biggest benefits of doing laterals is that we can breathe more easily. So as we stretch or lengthen and then strengthen the opposite side of our body, our capacity to inhale improves. And so what I'd like you to do is just start by taking a few deep breaths inhaling and exhaling. As you inhale, notice your capacity for inhalation in this moment. Our inhalation is related to our ability to receive, to take in. to absorb life's energy. So just kind of notice where you're at with that in this moment. And as you exhale, feel like you're just letting go of whatever you were doing a moment ago, however your day is going, good or bad, positive or negative, just let it all go. The breath has this ability to bring us to the present moment. And if you find that your mind is really busy, is preoccupied, I want to invite you just to count how long it takes for you to inhale and how long it takes for you to exhale. So you might notice that your inhalation is for four and maybe your exhalation is for three or five or six. And see if you can start to balance the inhalation and exhalation so that the inhalation is equal to the exhalation. Very good. And then just bring the arms up to the sides. You can open your eyes and look at me if you need to, but bring the arms out and then just inhale, bring the hands and reach up to the sky. See if you can actually arch in your lumbar spine, lifting the chest and the heart. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Good. And inhale, bring the arms, reach up, expand through the collarbones, expand through your hands and fingertips. Exhale, twist to your right and just let the arms come down. Don't torque yourself deeper into the twist. Just let the hands rest. Inhale, bring the hands, reach up. And exhale, let's do the other side. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. Really create a bit of a back bend here by lifting the chest and heart. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, the arms reach up. And exhale, twist and let the arms come down. Good. So what I'd like you to do is come back to the center and then come and lie down onto your back. And bring the arms and reach over your head as far as you can. And sometimes this pose is called banana pose. Um, it's just a side bender in a reclined position. You're going to slide your legs to the right and then slide your torso to the right and reach with your left hand, but take your right hand, just bring it to the left rib cage and just take a few deep breaths there. And I want you to really breathe into the left side of your body for a moment. Press through the left heel away from you. Reach a little bit more through the left side. 
and fill the right hands with your breath. And what you'll notice is that there's all of the connective tissue in between the costals, the rib cage, and there's this kind of density in those costal muscles, in those costal fibers. And the longer we kind of stay here, those costal fibers start to let go. And the breath becomes a little bit more fluidized. Very nice. And then come back to the center. Just take your hands to the belly for a moment. Take two breaths here. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. By placing the hands on the belly, you can begin to direct your mind to a focal point. In this case, we're directing our mind to the focal point of our hands so that we can expand the quality of our breath. Bring the arms up over the head again. Take the feet this time to the left and slide your upper torso to the left. Reaching through, pressing away with your right heel, take your left hand this time, bring it to the right ribs and inhale a few breaths here. Maybe push a little bit more through your right heel. And as you start to press more through the right heel, reach more with your right hand, you'll start to feel again that connective tissue between the costals starting to let go, starting to release a little bit. Inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. See if you can fill your left hand a little bit more with your breath. And then bring the feet back to center. And just again, place the hands at the lower belly to give your mind a focal point a place to concentrate, a place to direct your breath, to direct your energy. And see if you can direct your mind to just really fill your hands with breath, with life force energy, keeping in mind that as you inhale, you're receiving. A nice affirmation that you can use here is, I'm increasing my capacity to receive. I'm increasing my capacity to receive. I am able to receive. Beautiful. So we're gonna do a little muscle activation here. I want you to bring your knees and bring them over your hips. Bring your hands just in front of your knees. And then you're going to push the knees into the hands. Now don't bend your elbows here, just press the knees into the hands. And we're gonna hold it here just for a few seconds. And then what I want you to do from here is to straighten the legs out and just hold it there. And then relax the legs down.
Bring the knees over the hips. Bring the hands in front of the knees. Press the knees into the hands and hold. Now again, keep the arms straight and press the knees into the hands. And then from here, straighten the legs out and have the legs about 45 degrees. And then relax the legs down. You might have noticed it got easier the second time. So let's see if it gets easier on the third time. Bring the knees over the hips. Bring the hands in front of the knees. Press the knees into the hands and hold. You're going to feel the lower part of your abdominal muscles engaging the first rectus. You should also feel the quads engaging a little bit. And then from here, start to straighten the legs. Now this time, see if you can actually engage your quads. Like really feel the quads like engaging, tightening up, and then release everything. Take a deep breath in. Send the breath into the hands. And exhale, release. Again, bring the knees over your hips. Bring the knees and the hands in front of the knees. Press the knees into the hands and hold. Really press them in. And then from here, straighten the legs and hold. Now again, try and tighten the quads. Push through the heels of the feet. Flex the toes back and then relax everything down. Take a deep breath in. Do it again. Bring the knees over the hips, the hands in front of the knees. Press the knees into the hands and hold. And then straighten the legs out. Now I didn't mention this before, but if it's too much, just bend one leg and just keep the other leg straight. And then you can switch the next time. And engage the quads and then release everything to the floor. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Bring the knees over the hips one last time. Bring the hands in front of the knees. Press the knees into the hands. Hold it there. Press them in. Press them in. This is the last one. Make it really count. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards. <laughs> and then straighten the legs. Engage the quads. Engage the quads. Holding three, two, one and release down. Again, fill your hands with breath. Concentrate your mind in your breath. Concentrate your mind at the center of your belly. Very good. Okay, so please roll over to the side and come on up to fours. Come on up to all fours. And from here, you're going to inhale and exhale and come into downward facing dog and inhale come to your hands and knees lift the chest and heart and exhale come into downward facing dog inhale come to your hands and knees we'll do it a couple more times full breath in lift the chest and heart and exhale come into downward facing dog Inhale, come to hands and knees. Increase your capacity to breathe in. Increase your capacity to receive. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, come to hands and knees. Lift the chest and heart. And exhale into downward facing dog. Very good. So from here, inhale, come into plank pose. Now, drop the hips just a little bit, but press back through the heels. Take the belly into the spine, but again, drop the hips just a little bit and lift the heart forward. Exhale, come into downward dog. Now, this is to kind of isolate the transverse abdominus muscles. So if this is too much, as we're doing plank, just bring your knees down to the floor. So do a modified plank, okay? Come forward into plank pose. 
Really squeeze the belly in and exhale, come into downward dog. Inhale, come into plank. Squeeze the navel to the spine, lift the corners of your mouth and exhale back into downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Good. Now this time, come down onto your forearms. Lift the chest and heart. Bring the pubic bone forward, but press the heels back. Good. Slide over onto your left forearm or that, so that you can see me. Bring your other hand to the top of the ribs and press up and then bring that hand up towards the sky. Remember to smile because <laughs> this feels so good. You're like doing something really healthy for your body. Exhale, come back to your forearms, lift the chest forward, push back through the heels and we'll do the same side again. Come over to the side, lift up. Now you really want to make sure that you're lifting through the ribs. A lot of people just stay in one line, but you want to lift up as much as you can. There you go. And then come back to your forearms. And we'll do it one more time this side. Come over to the side, lift up as much as you can. Lift the arm up, open the heart, increasing your capacity to receive and come back to your forearms, come up onto your hands, and then press into downward dog. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Good, come into uh, plank pose again, and then come onto your forearms, and this time we're gonna do the other side. So pivot over to the other side. I'm going over to my right. My opposite hand is on the ribs and I'm lifting them up. And then lift the hand up, reach up. Blossom the heart upwards. Come back onto your forearms. Lift the chest forward, press back through the heels, navel the spine. Pivot over again, same side. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Lift the ribs up to as high as you can towards the ceiling. Come back to the forearms. And one last time. Come over to the side. Lift up through the ribs, open up the heart, and last plank pose. Lift up through the heart, drop the hips a little bit, engage the legs upwards, press back through the heels of the feet, pubic bone moving forward, and this time exhale, bring the knees down to the floor, and come on up to force. Inhale deeply, lift the chest and heart, exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift the chest and heart, and exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift the chest and heart, and exhale, and round the back. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. And exhale, round the back. Now this time, you're gonna come and lift the chest and heart. So go to your extreme in this extension pose. And then come out of the extension pose about 20, 25%. So we're gonna call this spine neutral. You're gonna lift your right leg up behind you. Lower the hip but lift the leg up higher. And you should already feel this kind of uh, engagement in your lower back a little bit. Then you're gonna take your other hand, bring it forward, and lift both the hand and the leg up as high as you can. 
and then twist to your left. And just hold it there for a little longer. Lift both the arm and the leg up higher and then slowly come down. And lift the other leg up behind you. Lower the hip. Lift the leg up higher. Lift the right arm forward and lift both up as high as you can. Again, you're going to feel this right in the mid back and then twist to your right. Remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards <laughs> and then slowly down and lift your right leg up behind you, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the other arm, lift both the arm and leg up as high as you can. Good. And then twist. And then slowly down. Lift the other leg up, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift your right arm and lift the arm and leg and then twist. And then relax down. Lift your right leg up, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the left arm, lift arm and leg and then twist. Now keep lifting both the arm and the leg up towards the ceiling and lift the chest up towards the ceiling. But while you're twisting and slowly lower down, there's a lot going on in that pose. <laughs> lift the left leg up, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the other arm, lift arm and leg and twist. and slowly down, lift the right leg up, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the left arm, lift both up and twist. And slowly down, lift the left leg up behind you, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the right arm, lift arm and leg and twist. And slowly down. Lift the right leg up behind you. Lower the hip. Lift the leg up higher. Lift the other arm. Lift both arm and leg. And then twist. And slowly down. Lift the left leg up. Lower the hip. Leg up higher. Lift the right arm. Lift both arm and leg. And twist. This is one of the best things that you guys can do for your spine all day long. It's such a great pose. Lower the hand and the leg. We're going to do it one more time each side. Lift your right leg, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the left arm, lift the arm and leg up as high as you can, and then twist and try and lift your chest kind of extend through your upper back as much as you can and then lower down and lift the left leg, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the right arm. And again, last one. Now really extend through the upper chest, twist, pushing back through the back heel of the foot. There you go. And slowly down. Very good. If you can just come and sit back onto your heels for a moment. Take the arms out to the sides. Let's see if our breath has changed at all. So inhale, bring the arms, reach out and up to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands back down. Inhale, do that two more times. Take your hands over your heart center for one moment. Repeat that bhavana, that mantra. I am increasing my capacity to receive. 
I'm increasing my capacity to receive. Beautiful. All righty. So from here, come into downward facing dog. Bring the hands forward onto fours. Come into downward dog. And then walk the feet up to the hands a little bit. Bring the hands to the waist. And slowly come back up to standing. Very good. Bring the hands to Namaste Mudra. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Look down at your feet for a moment and have the feet or the heels underneath the hips. Okay, so you don't want your hips leaning forward or back or kind of like the feet like this. Have the feet under or the heels underneath the hip bones and then inhale, stick your butt out and come up into chair pose here. So I want to see like a nice, beautiful arch in the lumbar spine. Good. And then exhale, come forward and just kind of hover for a moment over your thighs. Make sure that your belly is pulled into your spine and then inhale and come and sit back into chair pose. Sit back a little bit more, pull the, the femur bones back and the hips back, and then the arm bones come back. You'll feel this extension in your upper back. Inhale, come and stand. Exhale, bring your hands to Namaste Mudra. Inhale, sit back into chair. Bring the arms, reach back. So this is a full extension of all the muscles in your back, especially in your lower back. So don't be afraid, don't stick your butt out, but let your butt, your tailbone kind of come out a little bit, sit back a little bit more. You're gonna feel all those muscles in your lower back engage. Come and hover over your thighs just a little bit. And then inhale, come and sit back. Sit back into your knees and your hips a little bit more and then inhale, straighten the legs, and exhale, Namaste Mudra. As you inhale, I'm increasing my capacity to receive. Inhale one more time, sit back into your knees, sit the hips back as far as you can, allow a little bit of curve in your lumbar spine, Reach the chest up, navel the spine, keep that navel to your spine as you come forward. And then inhale, come and sit back. A little bit more, pull the thighs back. There you go. And then inhale, come and stand. And exhale, Namaste Mudra. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Okay, so what I'd like you to guys to do is to bring your feet a little wide apart. You're going to turn the right foot to the right and really anchor down through the right heel. So turn the left foot, I'm sorry, turn your right foot to the right anchor down through your left heel and cross your arms. And what I would like you to do is lift up through the chest. You're going to bring your right shoulder to your right hip bone here. So bring your right shoulder over to your right hip bone. And I want you to feel all of these oblique muscles engaging and the quadratus lumborum. Squeeze it and then inhale back up. Lift the chest and heart, exhale, Take your right shoulder to your right hip bone. Now, as you're doing that, be careful not to lean forward. I actually almost want you to lean back a little bit. Pretend that there's a wall behind you that you're leaning into. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale and come back over. Very good. Again, imagining that you're leaning into a wall here. And see if you can come a little bit more and then come back up, inhale. Remember our bhavana, I'm increasing my capacity to receive through the breath. Inhale, 
and exhale right shoulder to right hip bone and notice if you can get a little bit more through all the muscle activation you should be able to feel like your range of motion is improving and you've got some sense of stability inhale back up and exhale and come back over good inhale come back up and this is the last one we're going to stay there now for a little bit exhale come back over right shoulder to right hip bone drop the right arm now keep your hand on the left ribs and i want you to lift that ribs up towards the ceiling good now spiral the chest upwards inhale look down at the right foot and exhale slowly take your gaze up towards the ceiling just very slowly don't hurt any neck muscles inhale look down and exhale look up inhale look down and exhale look up now take the other hand reach up to the sky good can you go a little bit further without pushing the hips out so keep those hips locked in towards each other take your upper hand reach over your head look down as you do that and now exhale take your gaze up to your hand inhale look down exhale look up inhale look down and exhale look up and then inhale come back up turn the toes in bring your hands over your heart take a deep breath here I'm increasing my capacity to receive. I'm increasing my capacity to receive all the gifts of this universe, the gift of prana, of life force energy, the gift of love from those around me. And I take it all into my heart center. Turn the left foot to the left, cross the arms again, inhale deeply, exhale take your left shoulder this time to your left hip bone inhale come back up and exhale come back over inhale come back up and exhale come back over inhale come back up and exhale come back over again really feeling this kind of crunch if you will in the oblique muscles here we really want to contract them and then come back up and exhale come back over you're spiraling your heart towards the ceiling kind of leaning back into that imaginary wall behind you but don't fall over <laughs> and then inhale back up and exhale back over good and come back up one more time and then come back over this time let your left hand come down take your right hand on the right ribs now you want to lift those ribs up towards the ceiling as opposed to just dropping them so you're lifting them up <clears throat> inhale look down and exhale slowly take your gaze up towards the ceiling inhale look down and exhale and look up inhale look down and exhale and look up inhale look down and exhale look up this time bring the hand up towards the ceiling and then bring the arm over the head and reach as much as you can you might have noticed that you can go down the leg a little bit more that's because of all the muscle activation work we've been doing 
Inhale, look down, and exhale, look up towards the hand. Inhale, look down, and exhale, look up towards the hand. Inhale, look down, and exhale, look up towards the hand. Just stay there for a couple more breaths. Spiral the heart upwards. Press down into both heels of the feet. Lift the inner arches if you can find them. And then inhale, come back up. And exhale. Bring the hands over your heart center. I'm increasing my capacity to receive. I'm increasing my capacity to take in all the gifts of the universe through my breath. Feel that inhale filling the chamber of your heart. Feel new life force energy streaming into your body, becoming replenished, returning to wholeness. Just let the arms drop for one moment. Inhale, bring the arms reach out to the side, up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring the hands back down. You might remember when we first started, I asked you to do this to see how your capacity was to inhale. Notice if it's just changed. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. And exhale, bring the arms down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Turn the right foot to the right again. Maybe separate the feet just a little bit more. Bend that front knee. So you're kind of coming into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale here and exhale and let the hand, the arm come down on the inside of the thigh and the other arm up over your head. Inhale, come back up. I always like to look at my back hand, look at through the middle finger, focus my mind. Exhale, come back over. And if you have it in your capacity, look up towards the hand. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, back over. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Remember to elongate the spine, squeeze the feet into the midline. Exhale, back over. One more time. Inhale, back up. And exhale, back over. Good. Now just stay here for a moment. I want you to press the knee into the arm and the arm into the knee and spiral the chest towards the ceiling. Remember to lift the corners of your mouth. That'll help you to receive the energy of the universe more effortlessly. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale one more breath. And then come back up. And turn the right toes in again. Bring the hands to the heart center. Just pause for a moment. I'm increasing my capacity to receive. Take in all the prana of the universe. Beautiful. This time, turn the left foot to the left. Bend the front knee, bend the left knee, bring the arms up to the sides. Inhale here and exhale. Bring that left arm on the inside of the shin bone and the other arm over your head. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back over. Inhale, come back up. Elongate the spine, bend the front knee a little bit more, and exhale, come back into the pose. Inhale, come back up, and exhale, come back over. And inhale, back up, and exhale, back over. Beautiful. Inhale, back up. 
and exhale back over. And we'll stay here for a few breaths. If you have it within your capacity, look up towards the hand, the right hand in this case. Spiral the chest towards the ceiling. Press down and through both heels of the feet. Draw, if you can, both feet towards the midline of the body. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. And then inhale back up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. And just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. I'm increasing my capacity to receive. I receive all the gifts of the universe and take them into my heart. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, what I'd like you to do is to come and lie down onto your stomach. And just kind of rest here for a moment. You can rest your forehead on the floor. Very good. Now from here, what I want you to do is lift your legs and your chest up as high as you can. Take your arms out like Superman behind you and lift everything up as high as you can. And then exhale, come on down. And then again, lift up as high as you can. Lift the legs up higher. You're gonna really feel this in the lower back, in the longissimus muscle. Exhale, come down, let your forehead come down to the floor. Lift the legs up as high as you can, lift the chest. And come on down. Okay, so what you're gonna do a little differently this time is I want you to lift, first of all, do an inner rotation of the arms. And you're gonna do that by turning the palms upwards. Lift the arms a little bit up and pretend that you're holding on to a rope in between the, the hands. And I want you to pull the rope apart. You're gonna feel this in your latissimus muscle. And then lift the chest up and then lift the arms up a little higher and pretend that you're pulling that rope and then exhale, come down and relax. Very good, now lift, turn the palms up again. So you're doing this inner rotation with the arms Lift the arms up a little bit. Pretend that you're holding on to a rope and pull that rope a little bit apart and then lift the chest up. Now, as you're doing this, relax the glutes. So don't let your glutes engage. You should feel this in your lats. Your lats are gonna to start to engage a lot. And then exhale, relax down. Do it one more time. So lift up, or sorry, lift the arms up. Pretend that you're holding on to this rope. You're pulling the rope a little bit. Again, you'll feel the lats engage and then lift the chest. And then slowly down. We're gonna do one more thing here. So lift the chest, lift the legs, lift the arms, and have the arms at 45 degrees and lift everything up as high as you can. Lift the chest, lift the chest, lift the chest, and then down and relax.
Lift the chest and the legs. Swing the arms to 45 degrees. Lift up, lift up. Lift the arms up higher and then come on down. One more time, everybody. Lift the chest, lift the legs. Your back is gonna thank you so much. Lift everything up. Now bring the arms forward, 45 degrees. Lift it, lift it, lift it, and down. <sighs> oh my God. Thank God that's over. <laughs> okay, come and sit in the middle of your mat. like this. We're going to do one of my favorite poses called gateway pose, Parigasana. So come and stand up onto your knees. Bring your uh, left leg out to the left and just turn the toes in a bit here so the foot is flat. Okay. Cross your arms like we did before and now bring your left shoulder to your left hip and just hold it there for a moment. Spiral the heart upwards. Very good. Inhale back up and exhale back over. Now squeeze the left shoulder to the left hip bone as much as you can while spiraling the chest upwards and then come back up and then come back over. This time, drop the left arm, take the right arm, and swing it up and over the head. Good. And we're just going to stay here for a few breaths. And really now, steep into your breath. Inhaling and exhaling, become fixated on following the flow of your breath. Become fixated on feeling the quality of your breath becoming enlivened. Any kind of heaviness within the breath begins to dissipate. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale. Just bring the knees back together. And if you can, just come and sit back onto the heels for one moment. Bring your hands over your heart center and repeat that mantra. I'm increasing my capacity to receive. Beautiful. Let's come back up onto the knees and bring your other foot out to the side, your right foot out. Bring the foot flat. Cross your arms. If you want to recross the arms just to do something different and then bring your right shoulder towards your right hip bone. Spiraling the chest upwards and then inhale back up. And exhale back over. And inhale back up. And exhale back over. Let your right hand come down the right leg. Bring the left arm, reach up towards the sky, and then over your head.
And now really steep into the quality of your breath. Refine the quality of your breathing. Breathing in fully, breathing in deeply. Let any kind of heaviness begin to dissipate. Any problems you have begin to dissolve. And when everything is dissolved, the only thing that is left is who you are. And then inhale, come back up. And just again, sit back onto the heels just for a moment. Very nice. So from here, what I'd like you to do is to Lie down onto your back and um, straight or bend the knees, bring your right ankle over your left knee, bring your left hand to your right knee. And I want you to press your right knee into the hand. So you're not pressing the knee away with your hand. All you're doing is bringing the knee into the hand and pressing the knee into the hand. Keep the arm straight. And relax. And do it again. 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 And relax. And one more time, press the knee into the hand. Good, and relax. Bring the foot down to the floor, just pause for a moment, take a deep breath into your belly. Again, giving your mind a focal point, a place to concentrate, a place to direct your attention. Our mind is everywhere all the time. And during our yoga practice, we learn to focus the mind. Bring your left ankle over your right knee. Place your right hand towards the knee, but then bring the knee to the hand. Remember that. You're not reaching for the knee. Bring the knee to the hand and just press the knee into the hand. and relax and again press the knee into the hand and relax press the knee into the hand and relax and press the knee into the hand And relax. Press the knee into the hand.
and relax. And one last time, press the knee into the hand. Good, and relax. And then start to just straighten the legs. I'd like you to leave your hands on your belly for a moment. And again, direct your energy, your attention into those hands. Feel the full capacity of your breath expanding into your hands. And as you're breathing in, you can repeat that bhavana, I am increasing my capacity to receive. I receive easily and effortlessly. So everybody take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Start to bend your knees. Roll over to the side and then come and prop yourself back up. Bring the hands to Namaste Mudra. Let's kind of go into that place deep inside and affirm that you're increasing your capacity to receive, to receive love, to receive abundance, to receive gifts, to receive friendships, to receive all the bounty that life has to offer. 
and remind yourself in the days ahead to stop and take in and behold the beauty and wonder and bring that into the deepest chamber of your being. Have a super wonderful day and week. Namaste, everybody. We'll see you next time soon.